now we can go here to devices bridge for example if you have any additional network so i will be adding that over here it will be bridge to lan and i will say it for example management ips show the advanced options of course you can see spanning tree and all of that so i will be simply saving the changes here but the bridge zero is created now i can go back again to assignments and you will see in assignments there is a new device added which is bridge i will simply add this now you can see here opt 3 i can go to opt 3 and i can enable this interface i can name it for example management ip and then i can again assign it the ip address so this is now another ip range i will say it for example 192.168.240.1 is the ip of this and it is on 24 bit so whatever servers i had on 240.0 network now i will be able to communicate with that network as well so i have created now management ip network or management or my home lab for example whatever name you want to give so i will save it you can see here its name will be changed here the moment i save it home lab so this is my home lab network this is my lan and then this is servers and this is van so this way you can create multiple interfaces we added the bridge here so first bridge that we added now it has been added to my network now i can of course ping it as well so i can ping 192.168.240.1 i can now get the response also from that network because now that network is already defined and that network can be connected so if any server was there on that particular ip address i will be able to access that as well so in bridge mode so you have connected the uh, other networks also as they were on the same network so it will be useful if you don't want to change the ip addresses of your existing network but you want to create a new ip range here and then you want to bridge that network to this let us continue to next video now